like a like a like a, and a like and a squeeze, and bro. then a lift up. Nah, the nah, lift up nah, is crazy. nah. Lift up, lift up is crazy, bro. <laughs> I really do. Nah, now you just try to make me uncomfortable with this. Nah, nah, like I'm gonna feel like a bitch. Nah, bro. Bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna the lift lie. up is crazy. Like, 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 and you just like you like, dang, like what you <laughs> doing? Like, dang. like we at Target right now, bro. Like, strong. Like, <laughs> like you got a little. A little straight, a little like a little grip. grip. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little grip. <laughs> a little grip on you, like relax. Like, <laughs> nah. nah, I don't like it though. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number one fifty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Episode number 150. I'm your host, DW AK Darius. I got my co-host Fritz with me. Say what's good to the people, Fritz. Hold on, bro. Fritz not awake, people. I'm sorry about that. Yo, what's good with y'all, bro? <laughs> yo, this nigga there is already fucking pissing me off. What did I do, bro? Yo. I didn't even mind do that. you, bro. I was supposed to be here at eight, right? <laughs> That's cool. I was supposed to be here at eight. I came in at eight thirty. This nigga there is wanna talk about something. You the one that brought it up. What? You the one, <laughs> what, what did I bring up? You was talking about, bro. I I've been here for. I got your eight thirty. I've been. We've been here for an hour. We already. just set this shit up. It's nine thirty and shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> what the fuck was you doing? That I was late. I know you was late. Why wasn't this set up already, bro? It was already. It was basically set. Up. We was just talking. Nah, we wasn't talking that much, bro. What you mean? We was literally having a conversation before this. Crazy, when bro. you walked in, the, the lights was on. The only thing that wasn't on was the mics. That was it. <laughs> Everything else was on, bro. No, but it still took an hour to set the shit up. Because we was talking, bro. And we was going to make a commercial for our sponsors, but we'll talk about that later. And well, guess what? We ain't even do the commercial, bro. Yeah, because I didn't have it set up. I'm sorry, bro. Niggas, I got niggas, is, niggas, niggas, niggas these days, bro. Niggas is acting. What? Niggas what, is, Fritz? I don't like the way niggas. I don't <laughs> like niggas. The way niggas moving these days. Moving bro. how, Fritz? Niggas know, bro. Like know about what, bro? Nah, niggas know. Bro. What's going on, bro? This and if this podcast for for therapy. What's going on, Fritz? There's <laughs> what, don't don't talk to me like I'm a little kid, bro. I'm not. I'm talk just asking you. What's wrong? What's that? Like, what's the Ain't bad? shit wrong with me, bro? <laughs> What is it, bro? But that's wrong with a lot of that shit going on wrong with niggas around here, bro. <laughs> like this nigga yeah. Darius ain't setting up the shits when I'm coming, bro. But I told you I was editing something. All right, bro. <laughs> what, bro? You got somewhere to be? How y'all been, bro? <laughs> Let me know, bro. How y'all been, man? I've, it's been a minute. Well, it hasn't really been a minute, but, you know. Hey man, I, 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 yeah. This is the good for it. If y'all new to this, if you were new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. Follow our Patreon, everything linked below in the bios. Shout out to all our sponsors at Prize Picks. If you are new to Prize Picks, use our code No Regulars is in our bio to give you a hundred percent cash back on anything up to a hundred dollars on any slips, uh, picks, anything that you want. For sports, any sport in the world. You got basketball, football, the Olympics is around the corner. If you want to make some picks, you want to win some money, use code no regulars, link in our bio, tune into that. And shout out to our other sponsor, Seat Geek. If you want, if you're new to Seat Geek, also use code no regulars, capital N O R E G U L A R S at checkout, and you will get twenty dollars off any order over fifty dollars or more. You know what I'm saying? We got a commercial for y'all people. Tune into that and we'll be right back. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. 
I'm not saying we get we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. But I had to let you know. Go ahead, but bro. I, I had to let. I'm not gonna say it. No, but, you already, but I had to let you know. But you already said of it. my concerns and and my uh, disappointments. <laughs> this guy's sick. See, y'all made Fritz bougie, bro. Fritz used, to, Fritz used to be all cool, all this. Oh, it's okay. Nah, nah. Fritz be like, nah, this got to be set up now. Nah, this time. nah, they gotta nah, be, nah. I need my water no, bottle no. in the, <laughs> the chair. Let's be, <laughs> let's be for real here. Nah, <laughs> niggas. Is, nah, I now need, niggas. I need snacks like that. Nah, <laughs> now, you, now you're. All right, so. Nah, now you're trying to make it seem like I'm like a prima donna or something, bro. I First of all. Oh yeah, thank you for the water too, by the no way. No problem, I, I bro. I did I did I did realize <laughs> that. But you know, but sometimes when you come into the house, you expect some hospitality. Like, Fred, you want some water? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I want some water. Fred, you want some <laughs> you know, we got some snacks or something. It's just some, you know, some t- to make it. I'm a guest. Yeah. You feel me? So that's why that's why nah, I, I feel really like some, I'll be in my crib most of the time. Yeah, I, yeah, you right. But it's like still, I be like, I be like, <laughs> damn, nigga ain't asked me. While Jay over there munching and shit, <laughs> munching, drinking, <laughs> drinking her water, drinking like, is is she not hungry? She not hungry. She I not go- she not missing the meal. While me, while me, <laughs> I'm here struggling. <laughs> while my stomach is rumbling and my and then I'm dying of thirst. So it's like. <laughs> Nigga, I I think it's basically like some like you should you should know that you have guests in the house and you need to ask them. Hey, you want some? Yeah, yeah. And if I say no, cool. Yeah, this is you the know? guy. He was on the muk- and so I'm not bougie. Fritz was, I'm, Fritz was on the mukbang. We bought him Arby's. I got him cookies for his birthday. First of all, bro. First of all. First of all. First of all. <laughs> Arby's. It's out the question, bro. This nigga got to be Arby's, Yo, bro. Arby's I'd rather like... starve. <laughs> that nigga should never give yeah. me that shit. Arby's except, that for the, except for that. Mozzarella sticks. Yeah, the mozzarella sticks. Bro. Same, bro. It's like but, the ones from high school. Yeah, the mozzarella sticks was good. But the mukbang, I enjoyed that. Tune into the, that on Patreon, by the, the way. What else? Oh yeah, the cupcakes. The cupcakes, y'all did that. I don't like cupcakes, but y'all, y'all. I, I was appreciate. gonna get you an ice cream cake. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. I was gonna get you one. an ice cream cake. Oh but. yeah, you guys did do something for me. Yeah, look at this. You get the. <laughs> you get this. Be- Yo, everybody I'll be, be for, hating on you, I'll bro. Be forget, huh? Everybody be hating on you. They say, why does Fritz get all the good stuff? Really? Yeah. Because wait, who? Air him out, bro. <laughs> Air him out, cause niggas, niggas be at, niggas be, niggas be talking shit. Like air him out, <laughs> huh? air him out. Who said it? Hey, bro. All know. right, now niggas don't want to say nothing. I don't know. Bro. I get all the good stuff because let's let's set this record straight. Bro. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Now I'm up, bro. I was tired, bro. I was tired, bro. But now, now I'm getting a little bit of energy right now. <laughs> let's get this record straight. Fritz is. I, first, I'm not trying to, you know, boost my ego or nothing. <laughs> Fritz is a good nigga, bro. Hey, he Fritz is. is a good nigga. He's a good friend. He, he stay out friend. the way. He he mind his business. Fritz, but that's what some of y'all, and you feel me? Some of y'all don't do that shit. Some of y'all don't <laughs> mind your business. Some of y'all are dickheads. So, yes, that's why I get all the good shit. Because <laughs> I deserve it. Sick, no. <laughs> this guy's sick. Because I'm just, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I just be chilling, bro. I don't know why. I, I don't know. Hey, First bro. of all, it's like, why does Fritz get the good shit? Really? <laughs> now you just being a hater. Why isn't it? Why? <laughs> like, it was for my birthday. What? <laughs> you know, what the fuck? Yeah, bro, it's, I'm just it's talking the, about anything right now. It's the now, supporters bro. that be saying it, bro. Supporters? Nah, nah you're lying. Playing. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what if I was lying, lying about the other part? Nah, yeah, because I believe that. <laughs> and I have a couple niggas in my mind that that probably said some shit like that. Hey, bro, you get the good stuff, bro. It just ha- it just happens to be you, bro. You be I ain't gonna lie. I see the trend, bro. You be on all the good pods. You be on all the milestone pods. You think so? You was on fifty two. That was one year. I think you was on fifty. You was on fifty. I remember fifty. I think you was on fifty. You and Jay was on fifty two. We ha- What's fifty two? 
like one year, like fifty two weeks. Oh. So that's one year. And then I think you won And what's fifty? The like episode fifty, like you know, milestone oh, just fifty so episode. Okay. And then I think you was on no no, was that Tyrone? That might have been I don't know. I, you might have been on the two year anniversary pod. Mm. And then now you're on one fifty. So it just happens to be well, you, bro. I mean, I feel like <laughs> it just happens to be you, bro. I feel like you can't hate on me. They're not hating, they just say it. Or you can't you can't you can't <laughs> you can't be mad at it because it's like it's faith. <laughs> I'm a special nigga, bro. Hey, bro, it just, ha- it just happens to it be just first, happens bro. to be me, bro. Hey, man. You can't hate on me, bro. But we got a lot of stuff to talk about on this pod. We got Q&As from you guys. All my all our supporters asked us some questions, so we're going to answer them for you. And we're also going to do a nostalgia part, because Fritz is always here for nostalgia videos. We're going to do a nostalgia segment on the podcast where we talk about Mount Rushmore's or Forgotten Kids shows. And last, Fritz is going to try to make me Forgotten laugh. Forgotten Kids shows? Like, you know... Kid shows that was like, dang, that joint was fire. But I forgot. But about listen, it. my Mount Rushmore is like what I like. What you like? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Okay, it's not like, it's not going to be like your typical of. You going like, put, put SpongeBob up there? Hell yeah. It has to be up there. Bro, it's like, it's like a TV. All right, we can, you can keep that one up. But it's like a TV show where it's like, dang, I haven't seen this one in a minute. Nah, that's, that's not what, what. That's not what. What did I that's say? Not, nah, <laughs> <Yeah>. nigga. <laughs> what did I text you? You bro? serious, bro? What do you mean? That's not what you said, bro. I said. Oh we, my look, god! Look, look, I'm going to read the text. I'm I, glad I got this. Read, read the text because I said, that's not what you said, bro. I said, and we're going to do a Mount Rushmore of forgotten show segments. So just bring four shows to talk oh, about. You know. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> look at. You look, edited no, I did not. <laughs> it all good. I said, yeah, like cartoons or real life, but kid shows. Like real life cartoons, but the kid shows. Look at this guy. Look, look, look at. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't say of. That's what fucked me up. You feel me? That's what fucked me up. <laughs> now I'm on his ass. It said, and we gonna do a Mount Rushmore, or or that's what fucked me up, or. <laughs> forgotten shows she- segment so it's like it's either you're doing a mount rushmore or a forgotten show segment. that wasn't my that was autocorrect my nah, bad. that's not even see, my fault you see you didn't say of but how is that my so fault? it's like it's that's like auto- it's like it's like you could have that's a typo did a, we could have did a mount oh hey. that, that that's not your fault that's not my fault it's not my fault either nah how is it i don't know bro i don't know bro <laughs> wait how that, because <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. So you telling me you put of? I meant to put of, and you we gonna to do a Mount Rushmore gotta, of for God's you, show. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be more um, specific, or you gotta be more um, careful, Darius, when you writing the type, when you writing, <laughs> when you writing to me, bro. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take it to like, you feel me? All right, I got you, but like, you go, you but you have your shows though. I do, but it's not a forgotten shit. Okay, I can do forgotten. I could come up with other shows off the top of my head, so we could do that. All right, bro. Because I got yeah. forgotten shows. We I, could think, do- I, th- I could do. I could do. Like I could do forgotten shows. You could think bro. of some forgotten shows. I could think, especially of- when you hear the shows I'm about to say. You're gonna. Or you could be like, dang. I can think of forgotten shows. Or yeah, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do. We're gonna do a dark humor segment at the end to see if first can make me laugh. But the first thing we're going to do is a Q&A. So we got a lot of questions that we uh, received from you guys. And like I said, we're going to do a lot more Q&As in the next coming year after 150. So tune in to our stories or on if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, we're going to put up a poll and stuff like that. So tune in to all of that. So the first question that we have is, what is the most likely end of the world scenario if it was possible? What do you think is the most likely? If it was possible? Like, what is the most likely end of the world scenario like today? Like, if it would happen? The sun blow up. The sun blowing up? I ain't gonna lie. I heard that is like that can happen like at any moment in time, bro. You see? But like I'm at, they, I heard no. You know I'd be watching. I'd be watching. That would this, affect us. I think so. I think like, I think first of all, we it would be mad cold. Like yeah, it'll get mad cold, yeah, and it will be dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'll be first. It'll, first I mean, it'll go yeah, black. That, yeah, that, uh, of course that would affect us. But like, would that affect us to where we'll be done up? We'll be done up. I think so. I think it's gonna be like an ice age times like ten. So we're gonna like freeze over. What I think is, I was thinking about if, like, somebody said that this was a simulation. Mm. Imagine. Like, now, right? I'd be thinking, I'd be going about my daily daily life, and I think, like, I think about it sometimes, like, dang, what if this is all just, like, 
Yeah, me too. Fake. I say this all the time. All the time. Cause I be just looking at my. I be just looking at my life. I'm like, dang. Nah, real shit. Like just like. I be I be doing the same thing. Like I be like. This is damn. Like that. That. What did that be like? The biggest cover up ever. Shocker. Bro. Like it would be the biggest shocker. Like to you just, where you just wake up. That's what I'm saying. Because you gotta think about it. A lot of, especially now with the technology, with like the Neuralink and stuff. And like the AI coming out, I feel like it's like slowly getting to a point where you can make a simulation. Yeah. Like I heard, like have you heard there was like a, a Nah, but a simulation as real as this would be crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like like the Black Mirror episodes. Like imagine like we like you just figure it out like you're in a simulation. Like you just see something off, like oh no. Nah. And then like you just like like uh like the matrix or whatever. Now you figure it out, like, oh like you're living in the freaking matrix. Cause I heard like there was a there was a group of college kids that made a video game. It was like a like an open world video game, and they put it like on a little disc, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, uh, think about like GTA, but like uh, with universes, right? So they built a whole universe in a little disc, and they put AI into it. So like, every little thing in that disc has a has a mind of its own. Really? Yeah. So technically, that's like a whole universe, right? That they created. So I'm thinking about, dang, they got like them little things think they're real, bro. Like the little animals, little fake humans in there, they think they're real, but they're really not. Nah, that that'd be so crazy too, though. Like, what if when you die, like, you just take the headset off? Up. Yes. Nah, and, and then they were saying like, when you die, like the moment you die, you relive your life. Like, it takes like like you. It's like for seven minutes, you relive your entire life, but it only takes seven minutes. So it's like, what if you did? What if we did right now, bro? And we're just like going through life, and then once nah, the life that'd is, be crazy. And but like, doesn't that mean like the life is like low-key like a loop? If you think about it like that, like say you die. And then you're reliving your whole life. How did like? For, and it takes seven minutes. Like, do you go into the end and then you start again? Like, it's just mad random. Right. Like, like you you just restart the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. The whole I'm, thing over again. I'm like, yeah. That'd be crazy. That'd be so nah, bro. That's what why. If, yo, you really restart your whole life over again. Yeah. And then, like, not knowing that you're that you're in like, a simulation. Yeah. That's scary, bro. And it's just like it's like. A lot of, especially now that they put like make movies about it, it makes it more creepy, bro, and realistic. I be looking at the stuff like, yo, this like there be I ain't gonna lie, there be people I be with, bro. They like look like bots, bro. I ain't gonna lie, something. So. Sometimes they be acting like bots, and like you know, yo, you know, I be thinking about like with the birds and shit, bro. Like, I don't know if you ever noticed like them little ass birds that they fly in like a like a flock together and they like fly in like the same direction. I don't yeah. know if you peep them. It's like they're mad small. They're not like pigeons, but like they fly like they're being controlled by remote control. Mm. Like I'll be looking at them like nah they look kind of there's no way that shit's natural bro like they literally going in the same direction like they have they're like connected mm. like say they go left they all go left like how and like it's like a quick ass left it's like how'd you know to go that way right I don't know bro I mean yo I ain't gonna lie when it comes to them you you said you said that like yeah there are some people that you you said that you work with that I work with and like, then that yo, I yo I ain't gonna lie bro. Just bro, think about so many fucking bots in my job, bro. I'm saying, bro. Like, it'd be so fucking weird. They just act weird. And it's like, you don't know what they do outside of this. They might just go home and, like, not do nothing. Yo, like, it is so, it is so weird. Like, it's just. And then especially when I be at Jay's house. Like, Jay lives in Jersey City, so there's a lot of people walking around. I be seeing the same people walk the same path around the block. Oh, no, nah, that's weird. Like, that's mad weird. Like, you know when you're in, like, a GTA, the same person be walking around the street? Yeah. That's just how it look. It looked just like that, bro. So, I'm be like, yeah, what are y'all doing over here? Like, why y'all keep walking? Like, why y'all? I know it's... I mean, there are some people who, like, use that as, like, a, like, walking as their daily routine. Yeah, yeah, daily like, routine. Yeah, that's cool. But it's just the, the way... I feel like the whole simulation came about, like, the thinking about it came out when, like, GTA and video games came out, right. just to be because it it just looks like crazy, but I also think another way the world will end is that that there's a there's a giant volcano in in uh, the U S. They said that thing explodes the whole world is the that that the our side world. the our side of the world is gonna get covered with the the clouds and it's gonna be like the ice age, and it's literally it's, wait, wait 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 there's a volcano where in um. What's that national park? It's like in North Dakota. It's like a very famous one. It's the one with that that has like the geysers and stuff. I oh, is called. that called Yellowstone? Yellowstone, yeah. There's a there's a mega volcano over there. And they said if that thing explodes, it's like first of all, when it erupts, like the whole entire United States gonna be like 
there's going to be like ashes falling and stuff like that. And there's going to be coverage over like the entire United Is States. Is there any like. Way of stopping it? Well, not even stopping it. Like. Is there like people surveying is there survey like surveillance over yeah, there? There's, like, oh, there's like, scientists. Yeah. There's, there's scientists like, over there. This shit look like it's about to erupt. Like Yeah, they'll tell us, but like they really can't do nothing about that. Like volcanoes are something that you just gotta let happen. Yeah, well yeah. Yeah, but like can't they like They can probably warn us. Are we gonna like have to evacuate you said all like on the east coast? It's it's like it like will probably it's gonna, be, it's gonna be covering like the East Coast type shit. It's I think it's covering the whole thing because it's like, like the it's whole like whole thing. It's like Midwest. It's Midwest and it's gonna cover yeah, like go, all the yeah, way west and it's gonna yeah. cover. They South said Dakota, yeah. eventually after like six months it's gonna go all the way across like half the hemisphere, like half the United, uh, half the world or whatever. Just because of like how much how big it is and how much smoke is gonna come out of it or whatever something like that. Really? Yeah, it's like I never knew there was a whole vol- like it was a. It's not like a, cause you know how volcanoes like you could see a volcano yeah. like a mount. It's not like that. Like it's it's a, still a big volcano, but it's more like a, like say the volcano tips like this, like the land is right here, and it looks it's like a lot smaller than it is, but it's still a bigger volcano. Like there's still a big like hole and stuff. Mm. So. There's just, I just never knew it was that close. I'd always be thinking the volcanoes in Hawaii, bro. Yeah, yeah, like like, yeah. Yeah, I've always, I never knew that there was a fucking volcano, like. That close? That close. Yeah, bro. So, hopefully, hopefully we die before all that stuff explodes, because I don't want to be alive when that junk happened. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Nah, I don't want to experience that. Nah, that's OD. Um, Oh, another question that somebody asked us. How do you feel about your significant other touching your butt? These questions are very random, by the way, people, so. Thank you to the people that asked me the question. Somebody asked me this question on our uh, Spotify. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, how do you feel about your significant other touching your butt? Me, bro. Do you touch mind it? it? Touch him up. Touch him. Like she walked past she walked past you like, what's good, Fritz? Yeah, that's kinda <laughs> that's kinda that's kinda OG. Like like that's kind of crazy. Like, what's good for it? Said that you just slapped my ass. Like, <laughs> you're trying to emasculate me. It's, <laughs> it's, like, I, I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. But it's not like I'm gonna like tweak. Yeah, yeah. it's nothing like I'm be like, yo, chill. Like, yeah, like, just like, like, like relax. The moment she try grabbing it, it's crazy. She grab. <laughs> if she goes for a squeeze, bro, I don't like it, bro. Has she ever did that to you? Yeah, bro. Like a, like a grab I, and squeeze. I, I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. I'll be like, yo, relax. That's when I I give her a nudge, like, yo. <laughs> like, I tell Jay, like, yo, like you gotta pay taxes. So if you smack my ass, I'm smack your ass. Like that's the tax, oh, that's bro. Hard. That's tax. Bro. <laughs> that's gotta pay hard. Tax, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Wait, why are you timing out for? Oh, oh, yeah. You relax. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't but, say that. Yeah. The, somebody else told me they did that. Yeah, they did that, right? Yeah. Somebody yeah. does. Yeah, it was. Dang, um, what was know, his name? I, it was like. I don't remember, though. I think his name. No, you know who it is, bro. Nah, it was. Nah, you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, but I mean, yeah, nah. That's I, a I good mean, idea, though. Nah, that's a great idea. It, but I might have to start using that. But I don't like the squeeze, bro. All right, what if it's in public? Nah. In public, that's what. I, nah. <laughs> you Yo, be, she does it in public too. Yeah, Jay does. But it too. it's not like, it's not like, like crazy. She like, don't be squeezing. Man, no squeeze, no squeeze. Not squeeze is squeeze crazy. Is crazy. Squeeze is crazy, bro. Nah, like, like, a, like, like a handful. That's wild. Like you like you tweaking. Like a like, like a, like a, like a, like and a squeeze, and bro. then a lift up. Nah, 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 lift, nah, up, is nah, crazy. lift up, lift up is crazy, bro. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> nah, now you just try to make me uncomfortable with this. Nah. nah. Like, I'm going to feel like a bitch. Nah, bro. bro. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. This stuff is crazy. Like, 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 and you're just like, you're like, dang. Like, what you doing? <laughs> like, dang. Like, we at Target right now, bro. Like, strong. Like, like, you got a little, got a little straight. A little like, a little grip. grip. <laughs> Nah, I don't like it though. Nah, I don't, nah, bro. I don't want the squeeze, bro. The squeeze, like, and she do, and she squeezed, and I'm like, yo, like, relax. I gotta give her a nudge, bro. Like, relax. But nah, it's not like it's not the end of the world. It's not, yeah, because I've seen 
niggas like tweak. Well, not even seen, but like I've heard like nigga, like niggas like tweak like on they, they girls. Yeah, like they really don't like hate it. that shit. I yeah, because it's like a form of you know emasculation. Yeah, like yeah. they they feel like less of a nigga, but like if you in the crib, it's not that bad. Yeah, if you're in the crib, it's not. It's really not that bad. And if that's you're that like, abusive people. If you're like, if you're like, um, in public, yeah, in pub, in public, it's a, it's a little like much, much, but like, it's really never the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. It's kind of funny. Like, it's kind of funny, but it's not like I'm gonna be like here, touch my I'm butt. Not I ain't about gonna be to tweak on 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 the girl. Like, yeah, no, like, no. yo, yo, relax. Like, yeah, <laughs> like what the fuck, like. Yeah, that's bro. something. That's something. That's nothing to tweak about. But like, I mean, how I feel about it is, is it's, uh, it, I don't like it. But it is what. But it, it is. is what it is. Yeah, like, it is. It's not, it is. it's not something that you need to like tweak be, over. Yeah, and mad like, over about. You, like at the end of the day, bro, you're if you're if you're secure in your masculinity, like you wouldn't care about that. That shouldn't even like make you feel like you're less of a man you yeah know of I mean? course especially especially if you're comfortable enough with your partner to do stuff like right that. right right cool, like bro. obviously like she's joking or whatever like yeah. she's not trying to make it seem like you're you're a bit you're her it, bitch or something yeah like, like but there is do, some people that do that though what there may be some people that do that now there might be some females like that that like you they trying to make you <laughs> they bitch and like try like, to like the big girl little dude combination type shit that's scary hey, type bro. shit i don't know you how to do. do nothing about it you can't like bro. word like <laughs> like that's when like you just gotta take it bro. exactly like if like a girl like a girl like five ten dude five six right five six five five dang right. that's crazy right that i feel like i feel like at that like them them girls really can't do it. Cause oh, yeah, you yeah. already you already bigger yeah, than that. Yeah, he nigga. gonna be mad like, the whole day, like, bro. Yeah, you you already bigger <laughs> than that nigga. Like you could carry that nigga. Like yeah. you could like carry him like a little kid, baby child, type bro. shit, like a child. So you it's like yoke him up. Yeah, you could yoke him up. So it's like you just slapping his ass and grabbing it. Like it's like damn, like. I'm really your bitch. <laughs> like, and I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> like, oh I, I can't. So that's when that's when it'd be bad. Like, it'd be like, damn, yeah. I really can't do nothing about it. That is when it's a little little shaky. But, but yeah, and overall, like, it's, it's really, not too bad. It's, it ain't bad. Bro. It ain't too bad. But I'm glad. I want to piggyback. Somebody asked us a question. You know, he wanted to talk. Uh, one of the guys on the Instagram, I think his name is Ray. He always he always likes my uh, my stories and stuff. He asked the question. He was like. Uh, he wanted us to talk about relationships, and he said he asked, "Is he done up because he's five four and he's seventeen years old?" Damn, okay. I'm like, dang. All right, all right, all right. You're not done up because there's some there's somebody for everybody in this world. Word. So I don't know if you gonna climb them trees bro. after what you just heard. What we talking about? Bro, I don't know you, if you want to climb the trees. Climb the trees, bro. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You- climb the tre- climb the trees, bro. <laughs> climb like, the tree. If a, tr- if a tree wants you, bro, climb it, bro. It, because at the end of the day, bro, some there are women who do not care. Not, yeah, who don't care about like when I it comes to stuff. height. There's some women, there's some tall women who be like, I, I prefer short niggas. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's, a, <laughs> maybe it's a kink. Maybe they, maybe they like you know being the taller person, and it's like a dominating thing. I don't know. Maybe they have like their family. They ha- they see a lot of in their family, like their dads is short and the sure. moms is tall. Right, and they're so they're like used. They're to used it to or seeing whatever. that. Anything that's normal, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. But like, um, where was I going with that? With the like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like, and you know, there are women who, you know, there are women who really won't give. Any nigga, any nigga that's under six short, foot, yeah, a chance, bro. Under six foot is crazy. What? Who started that narrative, bro? I six don't foot? know who. I, the average height is five the eight. Person, whoever started that narrative, bro, find a woman, bro, and whoop her ass, bro. <laughs> no females find a woman and whoop her ass because that's not like it's just it's just not fair. Like, yeah, it's. It, like we've talked about this already. Like it's something that you can't even control. Yeah, it's nothing you can control, bro. It's just you. It's, it's you, bro. But so, you gotta own it, though. Yeah, you, you gotta own it. Like you're five four, seventeen. Damn. But like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> guess, but like, guess, but guess what though? 
Dennis Rodman, when he graduated high school, what he was like five eight or some shit. Five like seven, maybe five, five eight. Seven. Yeah. He grew to like six seven after after you guys you guys have a chance. Yeah, you guys like that's just that's just rare. Yeah, it might not happen to you, but it you might not happen to you. Yeah, but when like, I didn't know what your nationality is, brother. But like if it's like if like okay, five four. Okay, say you're five four four. All right, cool. Now you have to work on yourself. You can't word the up, physical word, word, the word, word. physical stuff is not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the stature, like you're it's you're not, not up to it's, it's not, not it's not there, bro. The norm. It's not the yeah, norm. Yeah, it's, it's not, not there, the norm. Yeah, so yeah. now you gotta work on yourself. You gotta be able to yep. be have a good personality. You got you you yep. could be funny. No, don't try to be funny though. Like be, trying to be funny is like a little mad weird. That's like the head ass people. You think so, bro? Well, not try to be yeah, funny. Yeah, not try to be don't, funny. Don't don't try to be funny, but but I have a sense of humor. There you go. That's a good have way to say it. Have a sense of humor. Like, yep. like you don't try trying to be funny is it's crazy. It's not cool. Like don't try to be funny no. because people will see that. Yes, they that see you trying. That you're trying hard hard as fuck to and be And it funny. makes it weird. It makes it weird. No, so, that. you know, like focus on yourself like like try to better yourself like go to a gym or like get your you know get skincare or like get, skincare. you know like go to school get, you know get haircuts frequently yeah just just focus on it get you know your clothing right like Literally. dress right like you you there's a lot of ways where women will or like you could like they'll see your height but like they'll also see like damn He's well put together. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like he's a, like, oh damn, he's got a good sense of humor. Oh mm-hmm. damn, he's a good looking guy. Exactly. But he's short. It, you know, it's it's just it's just short kings, a, bro. Yeah, it's just that's a the lot of king, shit. Five four is. I know five four. It, is like crazy. like like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart five six. Five five five, five, five damn, six. Sure <laughs> but like that's what I'm saying. You need, like I said, I've been saying this for you need. Shout out to Collins, bro. He told me you need three things, bro. Or two out of three things. Either the three things is uh, personality, be able to talk to girls. Oh, no. F- being funny, being right. able to talk to girls, and good looking. You have to have two out of the three. Right. Because, you know, there'd be some there'd be some ugly dudes, but they know they're funny, yeah, yeah, and they know yeah, how to talk to girls. To talk, yeah. And they begin all the girls. But they'd That's be ugly as hell. Yeah. But you just need to work on yourself at the end of the day. Work on yourself. And don't, like... At the end, of, you gotta, you have to have a sense of humor because you might. I mean, I'm saying we gotta get clowned or whatever. You're not gonna get clowned, but it's just like, it's always good to be funny. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to be funny. It's always good to be funny, and like, oh, like, be, be yourself. Be, be yourself, and be, be, like, yeah, you're sure, but like, be, like, own that shit. Like, yeah, bro, you can't do nothing about it. Like, make it into just, something funny. Yeah, make it into something funny. Or like, just be. Own own that shit. Like be like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, but nigga. Like I ever like when I seen that, I I remembered like the one video of that little dude that was at the coffee shop, and like he was mad short, and he and like I guess somebody he was tweaking on something like a girl. He said, "Bro, I hate all you girls on dating sites." Oh well, y'all, I seen that, I you seen remember that, that one? That, yeah, I seen that. He's like, yeah. <laughs> it was an older nigga too. Yeah, he was an older dude. He was like maybe like five, he probably was five four. Yeah, and he was tweaking. He was like. Did that thing, like all your girls on day side said I should kill myself because I'm five four. Yeah. Like damn, that's crazy. Tell yeah, him to kid. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> that's wild, that, that's bro. Just, that shit is crazy because he. It sucks because he probably did go through that. Yeah. Like he probably did go through like oh yeah, women who literally talk down on him because he's a certain height. Yeah. Like. Yeah, like it, it's just it, it's. It's hey. a lot for, for for when it comes to like the the height shit. It's a lot, but hey, bro, you get through it, man. You get through it. Yeah, you go through. Don't yeah, worry, it's ne- it's never it's never, never it's thing. never it's never like over. It's never case for niggas, bro. Yeah, no, nah, it's never like case. real shit. Like, I feel like there is some, somebody for any anybody. Like, of course, bro. Like you know, so it's like hey. the beauty's in the eye of beholder. So, hey, good, just own good that bo- as a bar, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, good work. Nah. Wise words from Fritz. Wise words from Fritz. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Tell you, yeah, you could use that if you want to. You feel me? I, I just sick. made it up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, what is the boy equivalent of buying your girl flowers? So, what can your girl do to you that's equivalent to you buying her flowers? What is something as simple as buying? Like, um, buying flowers. Uh, equivalent. 
Me as a nigga, bro, I don't even. I don't really want, want guests. much. Like, I don't really want guests. Honestly, I just want like, what do I want? I feel like like if you come home and like there's food, fire. That'll be tough. That's 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 just like, how like that's probably that's probably it. Not even not even if you make that's the food, fire. you could just buy me something. I like, like. you could have bought some. Yeah, you could have bought some. Like my because food. at the end of the day, like right. You in the crib, like girl, girl perspective. You yeah. in the crib, your man out it. Your man, your man is you know maybe at work or whatever. Yeah, the nigga, the nigga, you know he thought about you and bought you flowers. And bought you flower. You thought about me and bought me my favorite meal That's or whatever. Great, or man. like you thought about me and you know cooked me a. Nice meal. I feel like that's the most equivalent there is. Like honestly, like it doesn't have to be something that mm-hmm. you bought, or like it doesn't have to be like at the end of the day, like for you to buy a girl flowers, you would think about her. You think about you know how she was feeling or whatever, and you try to make her day a mm-hmm. little bit better. So I feel like honestly, a home cooked meal or like a meal that you bought. You know, let me Uber Eats and yeah, that's, that's tough. Fire. I don't even honestly, bro. I don't even like when JB buying me stuff for real. Yo, me neither. I, I don't really, honest, my, okay, so like, I never. I remember when I first started like being with my girl, bro. Yeah, I never liked even like pay, her paying for nothing. Me neither, like, bro. Like it's just like, is that like I male never ego? Want, it, it's it's probably is. Yeah, but it's also because like. That's how I. That's how I like seen things like yeah. in the movies or like yeah. every like. You had to be the nigga. To, you had to be the person to pay for like everything. Stuff, yeah, like, yeah. Like you didn't want to see a girl take out her wallet. Take out her wallet. Yeah, yeah. You didn't want to see that. But obviously, like, you've been in a relationship for a while. Mm-hmm. I've been in a relationship for a while. It's it's you know we're more used to it. Like we yeah. could we could like. You know, if she wants to do it, obviously, like yeah, let her do it. Let her do it, but yeah. like at the end of the day, bro, you're you're the man, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna pay for most of the for thing. most of the shit. Like mm-hmm. it's just how it is. Just how the world it, works, it, bro. It is what it is. Like I mean, and you're gonna be happy doing it, my nigga. Like because at the end of the day, bro, if it makes it feel better, bro, if it makes it feel happy, bro, you're gonna want to do it if that's really a girl. Because girls really love flowers, bro. Yo, they really love flowers, and not even, like, flowers, even, like, a card, bro. Yeah. Like, you could just, like, go go out and see, go to CVS or, like, Walgreens, get her a card. Yeah. And just write some shit. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, for, they'll for really appreciate that mm-hmm. shit. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, the most materialistic shit. Like, you don't got to go over there buy, and buy like, her, jewelry like, and stuff. jewelry or, like, buy her sneakers, which is which cool, but, like, when when... When this, when people say like the little shit matters, like yeah. it really does, like it really do matter for real, bro. Like real shit, like my mom, like I remember, like my mom, like every time, like she loves cards, my nigga. Like oh really? Like, like she's like, a card she person. Loves cards, like really? like if you get her a card, like type shit, like she'll Would, keep that shit forever, bro. When not even like no money, just like a note. In it there. doesn't even have to have money. Wow, that's just just, just 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 a card. That's it, bro. And I see that. So it's like, if you, if you, yeah, I feel like most women are like that. Like, because at the end of the day, bro, you, it shows that you were thinking about her and that you care about, you know, whatever she. So I got a question. So what's your go to? Like, if you want to get something small for your girl? Damn, what's my go to? If what's I your go to? Something small for my girl. Damn. Yeah, what's your go to? You know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I want to get something small for my girl, yeah, like you want to be, you want to do something nice for her. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, food is also a big thing too. Yeah. Bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas love good. food. Bro. They do. So, like, my girl, like, if she like want something, like, I'll randomly be like, mm, yeah, what you, you know, I'll pay for what you want, whatever yeah. you want to eat, mm-hmm. like, whatever, like, I'll pay for for the meal, but, like, like, it's not like, because it's not like I am have to physically be be there to eat with or whatever, like, you oh, know, you just, like, like if she's at work or some shit like that, yeah, yeah, be like, 
yeah, what do you want to eat? Like, like, you want to, like, you want this? Or you want, like, she's like, um, yeah, I don't know what to eat or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, just figure out what you want to eat. I'll pay for it. Like, it's just regular, random shit, bro. I, I get you. That's tough. I don't know. But, like, i never really been, I had to start being, like, a flower nigga, bro. Never hey, really been a hey flower Hey, bro, if you nigga. want the, the, the plug, bro, you go to you go to Acme. They get a bouquet of flowers be like ten dollars. Really? Because if you go to like Are they nice? Yeah, they're nice. Uh, they got different colors. Like you can get roses in like red, blue, uh, pink, yellow, orange. Like there's mad colors. Never been a flower nigga, bro. Bro, like I literally like you break I've been like like Cause if you go to like ShopRite or you go to like Quick Check, that's gonna be like twenty five dollars. Like it'd be bread. Like I, I remember I bought No, uh, ShopRite is, is they 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 stealing money from y'all niggas when it comes to them flowers. Yeah, bro. nah, go to Acme, bro. When I bought, I remember when I bought like flowers from ShopRite. I think for Valentine's Day. Yeah, that shit was hella bread, like twenty one. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And these for a count these of ten roses. These ain't even like cool. Cool, they like just the they, regular they gym. Yeah, they they really not that. It ain't all that. So, nah, I never bought. From shop right ever again. You I know. usually just buy it from one eight hundred flowers. Wait, you got, is that like where you get delivered? Yeah. Uh is that bread though? Yeah, I like I like that shit though. Okay, like they just deliver it to her crib. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not that bad. That's fire. That's not because bad. I might try that. Sometimes it might come, might come with like a bear or some shit like that. Uh, wait, how something. much you pay for that? That's what thirty. Some, some bread, bro. Oh dang. <laughs> I'm talking about if you just want, you know, a quick thing. Like, you know, you just drive by. He's like, you know, I want to be nice. Buy some flowers. I told you, $10, I, 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 bro. I should, I should do that, bro. They GMO flowers, bro. I don't know what type. Yo, I'm telling you, they come in like, there's like, a, they have like galaxy roses. Word. It's crazy. I ain't never seen these colors. Like, they're not, there's no way they're natural. Like, there's no way there's pink or orange rose petals. Is that Acme? Yeah, Acme. Mm. The one, uh, it's, it's by UCC. Yeah, I know. I go, I go to that one all the time, bro. Really? Yeah, I be going there all the time. Like, say I want to get Jason flowers, I just go pick up some. Is it one of those shit that you need like a like a card? Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's like a it's like a shop rate. Oh, okay. It's like a. It's not like no Costco. No, nah, it's not like Costco. It's like shop rate. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Um, what are the questions that we got here? Um. So. Um, what is one horror movie you can hundred percent survive in if you were ever thrown into it? Any horror movie, any horror movie situation. Want me to tell you mine first? Yeah. The one I could survive in like a hundred percent is you ever remember that movie Split with the dude oh, with, that nigga. Yeah. with the dude with the yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, 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 I could the, I will a hundred and thousand percent survive that one. Bro, when that boy turns into that when that dude turns into the little kid, oh, yeah, I'm beating his ass, bro. Um he's done up. He's dead. Nah, but he's if 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 the kid or or wouldn't it be like if one of the personalities See you being that nigga. Being he gonna come kid. out. Yeah, one. Yeah, the beast come out. Hopefully the beast don't come out. But Word. if it's because if it like if it was me and you, because there was two people in there. If mm-hmm. that little kid comes out, like you see him, like oh hey guys, he's getting mur- like he's he's done up. I'm yeah. killing that kid. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what happens. If that but if the beast comes out, we might be cooked. But yeah. any anything else, I think it was like a kid. I think he was like a scientist, like a British dude. Like some of the, some of the other ones were like doable. Mm-hmm. But just that when he turns into that monster, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I got, yo, I really like that movie. I gotta, I'm gonna watch it again. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. And then the, I forgot what the second one was. It called Split Two. I forgot what the second one was called. I didn't see the other one. That was the one was with it, um. Was it was okay. I didn't. Re- I don't remember it. I remember watching I don't the first. Remember it either. I all I remember is there was a dude who's what's his name Samuel L. Jackson was in it and he played like a dude that I think he like he had like a oh it was called like um something. Damn, wasn't it like something glass or glass something? Glass skin. Glass, yeah. Glass, glass skin, glass. Yeah, bo- like he, something glass. He was just mad fragile, but I think he had like telekinesis or something like that. I, yeah, it was something yeah, glass. Glass. Gla- it was just straight glass? Yeah, I think it was glass. Yeah. Yep, yep, it was glass. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I didn't watch that, though. I watched like uh, bits and pieces of it. Mm. But if that happened, like that split, like if he kidnapped me, yeah, he's getting murdered, bro. I ain't gonna lie him. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm killing Scream, bro. Word, bro. Nah, I don't, bro. Scream. Oh, bro. Bro, uh, do you know what Scream is, bro? Uh, That's like if a normal killer is trying to, as after, like, to kill you right now. Like, a man is trying to kill you right now. Yeah, bro. Like a grown-ass man. Bro, wait. 
wasn't the first. Nah, I don't think he was like a grown, grown ass man. Bro. Well, he was like I a think kid. The first one was like a like they were like teenagers. Or something, oh, so. oh, okay, okay, okay. I think so. I'm not sure, bro. But that's still like an even playing field, though. Like I'm telling you, that dude was split. He was a child. Like I can be his ass. Yeah, but bro, like I said too, you're making scenarios where if one of the if one of the like personalities yeah. see. You being on the kid, it's gonna come out, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like so. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. What scream is just, I just don't want to. I just feel like that. There's a more likely chance that he might get me, because I'm lacking. You know what I mean? Yeah. And scream. And the other one, I already know what I'm in. I'm in this. I'm in the scenario. Uh, this guy got all these person. I'm kidnapped. I don't know what, how the hell to get out of here. That's the one. The one that the one, the one thing that's gonna give me trouble is trying to get out. I think they were lot. They were chained up. Yeah, they're, they're that's the one out. thing. I don't know how I'm going to get out of the chains. That's the one thing I'm going to have to figure out. But everything else, I, if I can get out of them chains, I'll beat it. Because the girls found out a way how to do it. Yeah. Because I think they, they talked to the little kid. Mm -hmm. And they were able to convince him to give him the keys. Mm -hmm. Which is freaking crazy. I ain't going to lie. That's really wild. Mm -hmm. Like, I never... I always thought, like, multiple personality disorder... Like, I, I, I know there's people that have that. But I don't think it's, like, that severe. I remember, I think UJ was telling me he had a, a client that had something like that. But it I wasn't don't know. like I've seen one that's well on YouTube or whatever. I've seen some shit that's like pretty fucking severe, bro. Really? Like yeah. he had like like nine people in his head? Yeah, like not I, I wanna say not. Probably like nine, yeah, maybe but yeah, there, there's people who have like a lot of fucking personalities. Really? I w like how like I wonder how that feels. I wonder how that feels. Like, that's crazy. Like, think about me. Like, I know who I am, but then I just turn to another person. Like, do I just, like, shut off? Like, I'm sleeping? Uh, I think. Like, imagine damn, you go I home. Don't know. Imagine you go home and you go to sleep. And then you wake up and you're, like, in, like, Florida because, like, your other See, personality. I don't did think that. it works that way, though. You don't think so? No. Like, like, the motherfucker just, like, he's, like, like, he just comes out when he needs to. I feel like. Well, when he wants to, I feel like you have to um, give that other personality a chance to, to, to come out. Yeah. Like, like it's not like when he's sleeping, oh, if he, he wants to come, come out, out. Yeah, he could come out whenever he wants to. Oh, so you have to have like a battle I feel like in you your have head? To have a battle, yeah, like uh... talk to him. And, yeah. like, like, for example, there was, I remember I seen this, uh, this interview with a person with a uh, multiple personality disorder so yeah they asked uh, you know how many personalities you got i think she said i forgot like three or four uh-huh and then <clears throat> it was like i think one was you know a little you know a little kid yeah yeah so they was like oh can we talk to that one she was like all right sure and the the person would close her eyes and shit like that and then open it back up. And then it'll be like a little girl. And then it'll be like a little girl. That's freaking so that's, wild. That, so that's, that's, I think it works more as like, like you have like control that. over like it. You, yeah. Like you have control over it. Yeah. But you have to give it like time to just be like, to, to like, come out. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. Like if it, I feel like if you have like you, if the person wants to, if the other personality wants to come out, you'll like feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like have it's to, like a yeah, it's like a tick, and then you have to like allow it to, to come go out. out. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? I feel like that's how it goes. I, I'm not sure. That's a, that seems that seems more logical yeah, than what I said. Because yeah. imagine you just go to sleep, you wake and up, and you just wake up out of nowhere. Like, nah, that's what the crazy. Like, what this do? Good? Like, how do I get yeah. here? And you have no like sense of whatever happened. Maybe, maybe I I, I want to know too, like. Like what you said, like you n don't know what happened. What happened? Like imagine, you know? like imagine I go to sleep, and then like in the middle of the night, like my other person that comes up, and I'm walking around doing crazy stuff, like I'm a freaking serial killer. Yeah. And I go back to sleep. I wake up. And I didn't know I did that stuff. You didn't know. Yeah. That'd yeah. be freaking like, nuts. Like that's crazy. But I feel like the other personalities that like when I seen that shit, mm -hmm. like they kind of knew what was said. Oh. And okay. what like. It was like they're all present in the They're that all room. present there, there. Like like you could see it through like I'm not sure. It's just weird concept. That's bro. what I'm saying. That's a weird that's a really weird it's a crazy concept. You know what I'd be thinking? A lot of you know, 
there's something up with America because a lot of like the mental illnesses only come in America. Like you ever realize that? Yeah, um, no, I haven't realized. Like that. I heard, like I heard, like the dep- was it? What was it? I think it was either depression or anxiety is different in each country. Like like depression, like you know when people is it depression? Is it depression or anxiety? Like you know how in America, like when you're depressed, like you're all sad, yeah. or like when you're anxious, like you're sad, you're worried. But like when you're, oh no no, it's anxiety. When you're anxi- anxious, like when you have high anxiety in America, you're like all worried and stuff, like sad. But like if you're like in Africa, and you have anxiety, they're all like just happy, but they're really? still like anxious. They're just like laughing and giggling, like just just laughing at everything. Really. But yeah, because like two different things. But I think it's just because like how we are and like what our environment is that's mm. like changing it, mm. because it's like. One, we we live in a very advanced uh, society here in mm-hmm. America. So there's a lot of, and it's also a lot of corruption, yeah. a lot of bad things, yeah. whether it was with our food, yeah. whether it's with the freaking the politicians or whatever. Everything's right. always bad. Yeah. But you go to like Japan or something like that. Japan is clean as hell, yeah. but it's just as advanced as us, or maybe more advanced, but they don't have no problems. They don't got no diabetes, people with diabetes. They don't got no overweight people unless they're like sumo wrestlers right right everybody like we have like an obese problem because of the freaking the fast food. foods yep. and yo i be thinking right i think our country's not as good as we think we are um i've been said that like i think we i think we're really bad we're we're pretty we're pretty well yeah we're pretty fucking bad i'm not gonna lie like mm-hmm. compared i feel like compared to like china or like japan and like all them shits and like Europe, like we're just not. I feel like we're just. We're it just it just throughout history we've always we're the best to be the, like the we're the best. Yeah, but I think we're brainwashed. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's what it is. Like just like in um just in uh, North Korea. Yeah, because you gotta think about it. We are the best in sports, physically yeah. wise. We're the best with smarts. We have the best paying jobs. But I feel like that's like. A cloud over what's over really going what's on. What's really going on? Like yeah. it just yeah. like all that stuff. Like oh, we're the best in every single sport. We're the best in the Olympics. We win everything. Uh, we have the best jobs. We have the best companies. Right. All that we have the best opportunities for people to come over. But it's, that's all a cloud to what's, what's really going, going on. on. And I feel like yeah. we don't see that because we see like especially what, social being, media as being the best. Yes, yeah. we see us being the best. But other countries like look at like that's why they look at like the dirty Americans. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Like yep, they always yep, yep. look because at because they know. The real probably stuff. what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they probably they're and they're probably taught differently. Like mm-hmm. like America's did this probably like you know we were never we're never we're never taught what truly happened with like history and stuff. with history. You know, I know. And it's, it's like, always been like oh America or oh, we have the these niggas these power these iconic people who found America who yeah. did this but they we, they never told us like what they did to find this shit yeah. you know they never told us what the bad stuff the, they the did sla- like, yeah, that we slaughtered and like did hella fucking shit yeah. like hella immoral shit mm-hmm. like, you know like they never taught us that shit it, they always try to f- show you the good that, stuff yeah the good stuff like well, they try know, to bend the truth yeah bend the truth you mm-hmm. know to yeah it's just it's just crazy and i be thinking like a lot of the stuff, especially in history that we learn, like when we learn about wars, we don't even learn about the wars that we that won. We won. How we, many wars did we lose? Yeah. I don't know it, none about exactly, it. Exactly, bro. Like, I forgot yeah. about the Korean War. Like, we were, there was a Korean War. Mm-hmm. We talk about Vietnam, but we just talk about, like, what happens in Vietnam. We don't mm-hmm. talk about what, what really, really happened. happened. Yep. Like, I heard we was losing bad, bro. Mm-hmm. And, like, nobody wanted to go to Vietnam. That's what I'm also saying. I'm also saying, like, we don't really be wanting to go to war. It's just that something has to happen on our soil to go to, to war. To go to war, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was talking about on the last pod with, like, the Trump thing. I feel like if he would have got killed, mm-hmm. we would have went to World War Three, mm. Because it's like, they would have said the guy was from, like... Somewhere else. Like, Russian. Yeah. You would have said he's a Russian spy, killed Trump. Oh, yeah, now we go to war. Because you got to think about it. All the wars that we've been into. World War Two. how we get into that? Pearl Harbor. They mm. came over to us, bombed everything. Oh, now you want to take our land? Now we're going to go kill you guys. I bet. Uh, Afghanistan, what happened? 9 11. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys want to get terrorists crash into our building? All right, we're going to go over there and kill all your people. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now what? And then I heard, I was talking about other podcasts, like while that was going on, like um, the whole Trump thing, the assassination, Chinese ships sailed into U.S. waters by Alaska. 
Really? So we got the Chinese up there by Alaska, and then we got the Russians down there by Florida. And it's the like Russians they're in Florida. Yeah, they're like off the coast of Florida, like by Florida. Oh shit! So it's like they're like low key look like they surrounding us, cause. Oh shit! So I don't know what I don't know if that that shot was the shot to like, I right, bet invade, cause like yo, if he would have died, civil war would been over, bro. Mm. The, all the Southerners, all the white people would have tried to kill all the black folk. It would have been so bad, bro. <laughs> because I heard, bro, like, and Damn. I think, in my mind, right, I think it was planned out, but not with Trump, because people think that Trump did it to, like, win the election. I don't think Trump knew. I think the nah, government was Trump trying to kill him. Know, yeah. I think the government was trying to kill him. You think so? Because, like I said, the government does corrupted things to, like, gain an edge, either where, like, you know, war brings money. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they were, like, they were all in on him. They told the Secret Service, because the Secret Service knew he was up there. Because there was like there was trying to say like like the secret service head of secret service saying like oh yeah we didn't have no snipers post on that building because it was a slope and it was dangerous y'all is y'all are marines mm. and ex navy seals shooters. and snipers you yep. telling me you can't adjust mm. to a little slope and it wasn't even that big it was the same building the other guys were on mm-hmm. and they were saying like uh people were taking videos of him on top with the gun yeah, pushed up that. like that, yeah, that yeah. like what are you talk- like what are you doing like and they're trying to say like nah we really didn't see him but like. Come on, bro. Y'all were yes. really, y'all knew what y'all was doing. Y'all were going to kill that man mm-hmm. to start a civil war. And like, you ever, you, you watched that new uh, movie on Netflix, that one of the new movies on Netflix that Obama made up, it was um, Leave the World Behind or whatever. No, no, you ever, no. Yo, watch that movie. Because literally, it's, it's basically, it's basically a plan on how countries destroy a country from the inside out. Mm. And literally, if that would, if that would have went down. That's exactly how that movie would play out. Like it was freaking nuts, but literally a civil war happened without no guns firing, just because other countries infiltrated. But I don't know. It's just I was talking about it last time. It's just mad weird that we never had. That was the first assassination attempt in like forty years, bro. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah, for a while. So hey, man, you never know. Like these people really can really get you packed up out of there. And now freaking Biden not even running for president I no more. No, Kamala Harris is. So what? Damn. That's what I'm saying. Like so you think Trump, Trump, Trump is winning now. Is that a win now, bro? So is Camilla Harris running for president, or is yeah. somebody, or is somebody, or is she like filling in for Biden because he's still president? I thought I thought she was running. I don't. I really don't. I like. Bro. Well, well, he's still president. Yeah, but I thought like. Yeah, I thought she was running. I like, thought it was like Robert F. Kennedy that was running for it. I don't, I, bro. I have no I have clue no with idea. the politics. Yeah, I try, I try to keep away from that shit expect, because I'm not really in, like really in tune with the in politics. Tune with the shit, yeah. it's just so. I feel like they do that on purpose. So because like another thing I heard, bro. This is the wild. This is the crazy ass thing I heard, bro. You know, every president is related to each other. Did I ever tell you about that? No. Every single president is related to one king. Like they're all like distant cousins. Like, even Barack Obama, they all related from George Washington to Abraham Lincoln. They're all related to each other, and they all, their whole bloodline goes as back in, to- As in blood Blood, relation. like, yeah, like blood cousins. Like, think of it as, like, a monarch, like, in a, the England. Like, you know, there's, like, a bloodline. Right. So, they're all related somehow to one king from England, and people think that it's, like- So, basically, in 2012, a little girl did, like, a research paper or whatever, and- it was it was a study that came up about like a, a an actual researcher, but the little girl pick like put uh put it together like she found relatives of the relatives, and she figured like she found like a path of how every president is linked together as in like cousins like they're all like cousins, like from Barack Obama all the people they're all related and they're all related to one specific king I think his name's like King John or whatever, of England, and it's more of like, of because you know how. In England, they have a monarch system where everything's a bloodline. Like you yeah, have to, be, like in order to be, be president. Of, yeah, you have to be part of. So that. what I think is, I think that it's the same thing in America, but it doesn't seem like it mm. because think about it. Where do these people come from? Like these politicians come from to become president? To become president, they just yeah. come out of nowhere. Like you yeah, just never like know how, about how are they qualify? How like, they qualify for it? Right. Like I know some of them be governor, some of them, but like most of the time, sometimes they just they come, out, come of out of nowhere. Yep. And it's like I feel like it's the same thing, and they keep the same bloodline. So that, like, nothing changes up. So every all of them have the same idea of what they want to do, mm-hmm. and it's like because the elites, the elites of the world, doesn't want to change nothing up. Like, doesn't want nothing like, uh, because they want to keep the power and stuff. So they don't want nothing too crazy change. Like they don't want the next president to like take away taxes or try to find a way to do this that and third because 
at the end of the day, they have an agenda. They have, this, they have the same uh, ideas, the same exactly. goals and shit. Like they they yeah. can say they have something different, different but, they, but they never yeah, always, plan it out. Yeah, always, like it never pans out. It's always the same true. thing. That's true. So I'm thinking like maybe that's like really we're still stuck in like a monarch king system. Nah, that's crazy. I didn't know that they were all bro. Fucking, they're all linked crazy. to J- King John, bro. And I heard like because so it's in the UK. It's really weird. Like in the UK, like um. So there's different bloodlines, like royal bloodlines, and they call them like houses. So like, if you're one king here, you're a part of this house. Mm-hmm. One king there, you're part of that house. There's like probably like I think like ten or eleven. There's I forgot how many numbers, but the specific one that uh, King John was a part of, I guess it was like a very corrupted one. Mm-hmm. Like there were like there were like a lot of they do a lot of like corrupted things, steal money, a lot of evil things and stuff, and they think that that's what's carrying over to America, and that's why. All these, all of our presidents are really just. They really say that they're gonna change stuff, but they're really doing the same exact thing. Yeah. If you want to be honest, like Obama, Obama says he wants to make change. Like how many times Joe Biden says he's gonna get rid of student loan debt? He didn't do shit. And he didn't even, he didn't even do it. Because, do shit. because yo, honestly, the president don't really do nothing. Yeah. I feel like the president is just there to be the to face. Be the face, yeah. Because a lot of the shit really goes through like the like everyone else, don't mm-hmm. they? Like. The president just has to like veto or like approve the shit. Yeah, is that, is that how it goes? Yeah, they have to approve and veto, but like they still have people to tell them like what's going yeah, on. Yeah, what's going on there? Yeah, right. So it's not like they're they're making every decision. They can still yeah, have, like, because hundreds it's not of like the president like once the president say some shit, like that it goes. It yeah, that's what I'm go, saying. It don't go like I that. I think there's literally people. More powerful than the president. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about it. Like, mind. there's way more people more powerful than the president. The there's president no... just, yeah, like you said, is the face of the whole thing. Of the whole thing. Like, they, like at the end of the day, there has to be somebody Higher in charge. Up. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit. You know what I mean? Like in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But people behind closed doors are is really pulling the strings. Yeah, especially you know with I mean? Biden, bro. There's no right. way that man is making. He decisions. didn't do shit, bro. He couldn't even make he a sentence. He couldn't even make a fucking sentence, bro. He's too fucking old. He yeah, there's no way he was making a walk. Yeah, bro. Like, like so, so there are like. I feel like Bi- when Biden was president, that kind of proved it. Like, yeah, there was else. yeah. There's people else ma- making the decisions. Cuz couldn't even remember who the vice president was. He yeah. said, "Oh, Vice President Trump." Yeah. That was crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's work. crazy. So yeah, hey, man, he's too fucking old, bro. And the and I'm honestly, I feel like they do them. They they pick them that old on purpose, bro. Exactly to make it easier. To make it easier for mm-hmm. you know more manipulated. Like they can mm-hmm. manipulate it more, or like they're just like, I don't know. They're just old as hell. Like they can they just, barely do shit. Like. Once you tell them to do some shit, like you, they'll they'll gladly do it. My yeah, nigga. Like, like you, you can give them a paper, be like, "Yo, just sign this." You don't gotta read it. Something it yeah, could be something huge, like, right? So, like he can sign away the freaking deed to America or some shit, right? And that shit. Now we're part of Russia, like yeah, some nah, random. Now nah, we now nah we done. That's what I'm saying. Like it's so, especially I don't know. You ever watch that uh, Beekeeper movie with the uh, Channing Tatum? Chan- Channing Tatum. Chan- what? Not Channing Tatum. The Jason State. Statham, whatever his name, the one from uh, Fast and Furious. Nah, I never watched it though. That's a good movie. You should watch that. It's a really good movie. Good it movie. talks. It's like a. It's about like think of like John Wick, but with it's like literally John Wick, but more of like talks about corruption also. Like it's also about like some like cover up and shit mm. with like America, and it's similar to like what we were talking about, like how like the president is like the president could be doing something bad, mm. but we don't know about it. Even like in an electro like a electoral race, or whatever. Right. Because it's like, like I said, like you were saying, it's like. There's always somebody that's gonna pull the strings, especially for an older president like how Biden was, because I think the I think the youngest president we ever had was Obama. Well, it was Obama, yeah. He was like what forty something. Yeah, it was but Obama, like yeah. other, everybody other than that would been like what 50, yeah, 50, 60, 60 70. Old, old as fuck. Like it's like dang, like why can't you like the min, the max minimum age is thirty five. I think that they should lower that. Like there has to be like a maximum age to be president. Yeah, why the fuck do we keep getting these? I'm sorry. Old ass niggas. That's what I'm saying. That bro. Could be, that their brain are like they got dementia. They, they got dementia, bro. <laughs> like, Why can't we get these forty year olds more? Like more, more of these four. I feel like once that nigga Obama was just like I guess like a rare fucking like I don't think it was it was in the plans. bro. Nah, it wasn't. I feel like it was. It they, couldn't have been in the plans, bro. Nah, I don't think so. Cause that shit, that shit like. They they and they probably learned from that lesson too. Nah, low because key. Every fucking everybody else like has been old as hell. 
I feel like they might have did that on purpose. You think so? Because I feel like people thought that George, people did not like George Bush. Mm. And I feel like they lost hope in him. So they were like, I bet. Let's bring in a black guy so we can build, so we can be like, oh, the first black president so people can be like, oh. Wasn't Mitt Romney? Um, Mitt Romney was, was running. Was, was running. I'm running against him. So but it's why like, do you think he, he, they didn't go he for was, him? I feel like he wasn't, they wouldn't go, you know, it's a popularity, popularity but at the same yeah, time. Yeah, right, right. So when, when you see first black president, he was definitely going to win, gonna, yeah, yeah. no matter what. So they're going to be like, if they have a, make a, put a black president up there, they're going to be more for him because he's the first black president. And of course, like most of the country is like black. Mm. And like, but like, J, uh, George Bush, like I, even my mom hated him. I remember I did like a, I did a book, I had to do a book report on like a president in like a uh, fourth grade or whatever, and I I picked George W. Bush, and my mom was like, "Why the heck did you pick him?" I'm like, "I don't freaking know." And she's like, "I hate him so much. I didn't know why." <laughs> but like you know, people think like he started like did the whole 9/11 oh, yeah, thing, everything, even yeah. all the other stuff. So like they probably didn't trust the government at the time, right? So they probably was like, "All right, you know, what? let's put a black man here." So to gain the trust to back of the people. To gain the trust. Mm, hey, gotcha. Come that, on, that, bro. That's it's pretty, chess, bro. You, 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 you cooking right now, bro. I think it's chess, bro. Like, it's, pre- yeah, they're, they're really, they're really, it's brainwashed. It's, it is, it's brainwashed, it's bro. It's really brainwashed, bro. Like, they're really telling us that he does something. He's really not doing nothing up that's there. A, that's, that's funny as fuck. Bro. Like, that's crazy work. Like, in that White House, they're literally doing tours of the man crib. Yeah. Like, that makes no sense to me. How uh, the hell? America's going to shit right now. Niggas know, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, they know. America's going to shit right they now. They really bro. know, but they don't want to. They, they use social media as a way to, like, you know, they're using social media and, like, AI to be like, oh, no, we're going up in the world. Nah, yeah, we're really going nah, back down. Right we're in a recession, bro. Yeah, America's it's really like, bad. It's bad right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I seen, I seen a statistic you have to make in order to live a comfortable life. You have to make six figures. A comfortable life. Look like, at that. Bro, six figures. A comfortable. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I feel bad for us. I know it's so bad. I feel bad for us. Bro. Our parents be I, talking about it. you. Remember back in the days? Back, back in the nah, days. Nah, nah, we don't, nah. bro. Nah, bro. This is, they we, never been. Yo, this is crazy, bro. They ain't never experienced this before. That sucks that we have to be the we generation minimum that, six figures, bro. That has to make six minimum six figures to enjoy to their life. enjoy our lives, bro. That's crazy work. Like that's just in just comfortable, like crib, car. Job and like have and family. That's crazy. Like that's so bad. Like that's not good at all, bro. That, like are like what the fuck? Like nobody's talking about that. And it's like and especially high where we at because it's Jersey. You know Jersey. Oh, Jersey's high. just gonna be uh, yeah. Like I hate New Jersey, bro. I hate New Jersey. We too. gotta pay what? We gotta pay tolls. We gotta pay freaking all these extra property taxes because like. Cause of, just cause of New York is right there, yeah. bro. Are you dead? Like, come on, bro. Jersey. The rent be like three k for a one bedroom, bro, one Jersey, bathroom. Jersey, bro. I'm about to be at this motherfucker, bro. Hey, man. They, they, that shit wants to like, nah, bro. I'm, if I want to live comfortably, I gotta make six figures, and now I gotta worry about the state robbing me too, bro. Yeah, with nah, taxes, with like, taxes and shit. Hey, man. Fuck y'all niggas. If you bro. running for president and you getting rid of income tax, I'll vote for you. Republican or not, I don't nah, care. You don't, racist, I'm, I'm voting for you. Yeah, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know about that one, but nah, I mean, I don't know. Bro. I don't know. But, no, I'm saying yeah, income tax, tax be a lot, Tax be bro. crazy, bro. It would be 30%. I didn't know taxes was a lot, bro. Taxes I understand OD, now. bro. I understand now what our parents... I'm not even paying taxes, but I heard, bro, I seen the, I seen the thing... On a TikTok, it says like if you make like say if you make a hundred k in New Jersey, they take away forty k, forty thirty k. Damn, from taxes. bro! I'm like, damn, t- like it's like fifteen, it's like fifteen to twenty or twenty to thirty percent. Like you come back, like you'll you'll keep like I think you only get like sixty uh, sixty thousand dollars, and that's not if you don't spend none of that. Nah, that's so deep. That's bro. so bad. Like think about it, that's not that's not with like uh paying your expenses for your yeah. crib. That's just if you make. That's just the taxes. So you still gonna pay. You still gotta pay all the other stuff off. So you're not gonna get sixty thousand for a year. It's probably gonna be like maybe thirty because you still gotta pay off if you save correctly. But like, dang, Yo, bro, we are going through it, bro. Yeah, bro. What country don't got, don't pay taxes? There gotta be something, right? Hopefully, man. Probably. Hopefully, bro. Nah, nah, go over there. You got anything else you wanna say, brother? Nah, um, it was, I appreciate. You know, I always pre. Uh, Enjoy being here, man. Yeah, man. I'm glad. You know, at, first, at first, I was a little tired, but you know, <laughs> I got my energy back. Hey, it'd be like that, bro. It'd be like that. Yeah, but 
Thank y'all for having me. Thank you for pulling up, brother, like always, man. Of course. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 150, people. We'll make it to 150. Watch, in the next two years, we're going to be at 300. Let's 300, see where we're going to yeah. be at there. That's a, you know what I'm saying? Only up from here, like i always been saying from the jump. If y'all new, Derek, oh, wait, oh, not yet, not yet. Let me, my fault, guys. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe down below, comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe to our Patreon. I actually didn't even get to read off all our Patreon subscribers, so let me do that now. There's a couple Patreon subscribers that just subscribed for free that I didn't get on here, so next episode, I'm going to talk to y'all. Hold on. Give me one second. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I'm folding. I'm folding. Oh, Shout out to all our Patreon subscribers, our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Jaquavion. Jaquavion, let me DM me, bro. Where are you from? Cause I know you're from. from where do you think you're from? I think you're from fucking, Atlanta. Fucking, yeah, it has to be Atlanta. You gotta be from Atlanta, bro. It has to be from Atlanta. Jaquavion is Jaqu- that's a oh, that's an Atlanta name. Like I ain't some never seen Louisiana, one. maybe. Yeah, like, something yeah, south, bro. Some shit, bro. Florida, Florida, Florida too, bro. It has yeah, to be some south, bro. Yeah, bro. Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nud the Shield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Woods, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, my boy, my boy Laquell. He from uh Harlem. That's where he's from. Are you from Harlem? Oh, shout he, out, shout out New York, bro. Yes, sir. Shout out my boy Laquell Ingram. Tyrone, Tyrone Corey, and King Fry. And then we got our second round steals. The people that subscribe for five dollars a month. We got DJ Khalid, Leland Poole, Muhammad, and Tamia. And for our one uh, first round lottery pick. We got Tavon Cox. Pause. C O X. Pause is crazy. Oh, you paused the nigga name. I had to pause the name. That's crazy. I had to pause the name. I had to let it. I had to let him know, bro. I'm sorry. Pause. I got pause every time, bro. Yeah. But like I said, subscribe to our Patreon. We got a lot of content coming up there. Um, every two weeks we got a new uh Patreon episode up there. Me and Fritz, we got a freaking mukbang coming up there probably this weekend on Sunday for. Are very exclusive. The one, my boy Tavon, you're gonna get a good Patreon episode for you, brother. And yeah, shout out to our sponsors, shout out to Seat Geek and Prize Picks. If you need, use code No Regulars and Seat Geek to save you 20% off of anything over $50 or more on Seat Geek for your first time purchase. And shout out to Prize Picks, use code No Regulars in the description in our bios to get 100% cash back on anything up to $100 for any entry to any sport. You know what I'm saying? Get your bread, people, so we can get our bread. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Fritz. Uh, we different. They regular, no regulars. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.